Well, the parent system that is impacting the West Coast and the Desert Southwest, that will actually probably bring us a little bit of rain by the time we hit the Christmas holiday. But here in the short term with the weather headlines, won't feel like the first day of winter on Friday. And Christmas Eve is going to be more like spring with highs into the low 60s. We started out with some sunshine, but we've had some mid-level cloudiness work in. You see some returns on the radar. Actually, our future cast 24 hours ago did a good job picking up on this. But remember, the surface very dry since high pressure has been in place. So other than maybe a stray sprinkle, I think we're in pretty good shape as a lot of that stuff's going to evaporate before reaching the ground. Uh, we will see the clouds sticking around our Bluegrass Pace Care Skyview HC Camera Network, Hicks and Funts and Cam. Downtown Lexington in the distance, 50 top of the hour. So it is still relatively mild, even uh, with the sun having set within the last half hour. Checking out some of our Kentucky Mesonet sites, 49 both the northern and south Lexington sites, 48 over in Franklin County, up in Mason County, 46, Morgan County there around West Liberty at 50, down across our southern counties, Jackson County at 45, 44 in Knox County, and of course a little bit uh, cooler in the higher elevations there in Letcher and Harlan counties, but a really nice day, nice temperatures throughout the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. Nothing happening east of the Mississippi, all due to high pressure, which is still setting over the upstate of South Carolina. Return flow, first of two waves, creating a bit of rain uh, around uh, Dallas there in North Texas. Future cast, the clouds expected to stick around for the overnight hours, and that combined with that light south wind, that should hold us at least into the mid-30s, if not upper 30s in a few locations, although I wouldn't be surprised southeastern Kentucky dropping down into the low 30s. But look at tomorrow afternoon. We'll take it. Uh, afternoon highs into the mid to upper 50s. Looking at the bigger picture here, uh, that wave, the second of the two, that'll slide by and catch us into Saturday with a few scattered showers. But uh, the aforementioned system impacting the West Coast, that is eventually going to get its act together. Of course, it's going to bring some snow to the Rocky Mountains, so they'll see a white Christmas, but uh, eventually that will be heading our way. And the mild air before that system arrives, it's sticking around. Of course, Sunday will be our warmest day, low 60s, but as that area of low pressure spins in here, eventually the upper level system hangs over the region. That's going to cool us down. Rainfall totals were still in the drought and we could use uh, a bit more. It does look like we'll see uh, some fairly decent amounts rolling into next week. All right, here's the expected snow depth or snow cover on Christmas Day per the latest data. Yeah, not much going on across the lower 48. You have to go all the way out of here into the Rocky Mountains to really catch any. So uh, kind of an unusual scenario for the holiday. Again, mid 30s, could see a few low 30s in the mountains, but uh, otherwise we're in pretty good shape. Great shape tomorrow. Sunshine around again, mid to even upper 50s. Extended forecast here as we take you through the upcoming holiday weekend. Not feeling much like winter for the first day tomorrow at 56. Look at our best day. That's Christmas Eve. Yes, low 60s for afternoon highs. Some wet weather sticking around Monday, Tuesday. A little less of a chance into Wednesday and Thursday. But you see where those afternoon highs are headed back into the low 40s.